the smallest deployable unit in ODI is a scenario. Within this chapter, you'll learn more about those scenarios. You can create scenarios by right-clicking on an interface, package, or procedure. What you can also do is you can create all scenarios contained in one for all the objects contained in one project by right-clicking on the project and selecting Generate All Scenarios. The scenario contains executable code, addressing the topology on a logical level. It contains no references to other ODI objects. The codes are frozen and afterwards changes, for example on knowledge modules, are not reflected any longer. So, once a scenario is created, you can do only the following things with them. I create one now, I take one interface, generate scenario, and you see you have the name and an automatically created version. Once a scenario is created, you can only do the following things with them. You can execute it, regenerate it, and that's it. Regenerating of a scenario cannot be undone. That means if you want to keep a version, you should create a new scenario from the original object using another a new version number. What you can also do is you can click on the folder and say generate all scenarios and then you're prompted for the generation mode. And as you can see here, you have three different generation modes. Replace, regenerate and creation. You can also decide for which objects you want to apply this generation mode. But what does the different generation modes mean? Replace is an unstoppable action. It replaces a scenario with the same name, the same ID and the same version. All historical information on this scenario are deleted, like for example execution logs, sessions and so on. If no scenario exists, one is created with version number 001. If you select Regenerate, this means the last scenario is overwritten with the same name, the same version and the same ID, but the history is kept. So that means you have the execution logs, the sessions and of course the reports if this is necessary. If no scenario exists already, one is created exactly the same way with version 001. If you select Creation only, that means only new scenarios are created with a new version number, means if the old version number is 001, it will increment this number up and creates a version 002. If no scenario exists in this case, one is created with version number 001. If scenarios do contain variables, you can decide how you want to handle them. For example, I create one scenario from this one here, now with version 2. You can make them a startup parameter, means you have to pass the values over to the scenario before you start it. Or you can handle them directly in the package variables tab. So I'll create a scenario from this package. And as you can see, I have one variable in there and I can here really decide what to do with that. I want to handle it as a startup parameter or not and click on OK. Scenarios once created can then be scheduled standalone or added to a load plan with the possibility to add that load plan to a scheduler. As mentioned, scenarios are the smallest deployable unit in ODI. This you have to memorize. They are self-contained. All references are resolved. The only things you can do with them is execute or regenerate them. In the next chapter, it's all about solutions.